think you're gonna thrash? So if you're gonna thrash, thrash with power! Problems with drummers lately in the last few years, and uh, we were anxious to play again, like everybody else. But we did a podcast during the shutdown and lockdown. Uh, that was actually a pretty good thing. Kept kept us active, you know. People knew we still existed and everything like that. And we played weird records we found, and people sent us records to play, and it was really fun. You know, not writing songs because people need to hear my other songs. I just, you know, I, I don't want to say something just for the sake of saying it. If I have nothing to say, I got nothing to say. And I'm going to have things to say soon, I think, but they're not going to be very. I mean, you know, what can you say in heavy metal after a certain point? You, know, you talk about disembowelment and things like that, you know, and it gets kind of old after a while, you know. For me, dogs who take over the space and the universe and people with swords and shit like that, you know, it gets kind of old after a while. And everybody... records that uh, people seem to care about disproportionately just charted in the Denmark vinyl chart so that's something new for us the record charted doesn't make any sense I mean it doesn't mean anything it's just kind of like fun to see it like wow there it is number 20 vinyl charts yeah. I mean down among the dead men's probably our best record Twilight of the Idols is my favorite or the first album too I guess uh, if anybody could hear one Slough Bank song we should be here High Season 2 because it's probably the best song I ever wrote. Most inspired, most unique. And it just has a lot of melody and uh, movement in it. It's heavy in places, other places it's theatrical. You know, it's a, I mean, that's what I'm into. You know, I don't, I, that's, that's just my taste. You know? So whether everybody else would like it, you know, I, I don't know. It's, but I, that's how I feel about it. I, if I were to be dead, you know, tomorrow, I, I'd be like, okay, well, at least I wrote a good song. I see. We're going to do another one. It's Ray Young, Austin Crater on the drum set.
Cauldron of Blood. I was like, Cauldron of Blood from Down Among the Dead. But no one ever talks about that song. No one talks about any of our songs. Well, no, people do, I hope, but not in anywhere right here. But you know, that's a good song. Called the Cauldron of Blood. It's available. It's all there. People can find it. You know, I'd like to see. Um, I'd like to see us doing what we're doing. A solid lineup of people who are enjoying themselves, getting along, being friends, having a good time together. As I get older, as I'm getting older. Um, playing festivals and, and, and uh, hanging out, with cool people, having a good time. That's what I, and if it gets, if it was to get, I mean, if it could somehow uh, ascend in the material sense, that would be fantastic. But I, but I would. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. There's nothing I could do anyway. But, but if I was interested in commercial success, you know, I, I would have done something different. Meaning, I'd love to be commercially successful, uh, doing the music the way I want to do it, exactly how I want to do it, which is what I've done. But that's not really usually viable for the kind of stuff we do. So to get to a level of marginal success in a non-material sense, where you have people who like your music, you have fans, they come to your shows, they, they become your friends, all that, and I, I want to keep doing that till I die. I want to do it till I die. It's all over, you know.
Well, most of my sexual fantasies involve parrots, but that's, I mean, they're the only animal that will actually do what you want them to, you know, or say what you want them to say. But no, I, I don't really have much. I'm not very interesting in that way. They're, I haven't been through enough scandals, you know. I need to, like, I need to go walk down the street and, like, lick somebody's nostrils or something. You know, I, I'm here to enjoy myself, and... I do actually like this, you know, and I like getting on stage as much as I ever did. Uh, that's what it's really about. And uh, I'm thinking about writing a song called Metal Detector. Um, like, a, like a guy, like a record finder, you know. Like, you see him at these festivals, they go look at it. I mean, around here, you don't need a metal detector. It's going on. Like, oh, Thrash with Power. Yeah, yeah. Thrash with Power. <laughs> this is Cocaine Romeo telling you. Thrash with power. <laughs> That's my stage name, right?